What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I want us to talk about both silver and gold, the spot price, but even more specifically, the ratio. But we also need to talk about how it's the first open market trading day of the week and the stock market continues to fall. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Everything will be linked in the description. But today is Tuesday, January 18th. 2022. The current spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $23.35. It's up 37 cents or up 1.61%. The spot price of gold is $18.12.40. It's down $6.80 or down 0.37%. And the gold to silver ratio is in the 77 to 79 to 1 range. So we can call that about 78 to 1. But again, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking quite a bit about silver and gold. As you can see on display, I have some fractional gold up there at the top. We've got some miscellaneous coins over here at the side. We've got some silver bars in the middle, some one ounce, some five ounce, some 10 ounce silver bars. But... Before we can even get into the money, I think we need to first talk about the currency. So first things first, yesterday was a federal holiday, which meant the markets were closed. Incredibly boring not knowing what's going on. And like I said in the video from last week, not a whole lot is on the schedule for this week. So I've been assuming, and I've also been right so far, that this week will probably be a slow news week in the financial world. But today is the first open market day of the week, and wow, the market is somehow continuing to sink. We have the S&P 500 down 1.47%. We have the Dow Jones down 1.53%. We have the NASDAQ down 1.92%. Big red day across the board. Even more red than last week. Even more red than the week before. We're on a going on three week decline at this point for the most part. Now, as I've been saying, I do believe we're currently going through a period where we're rotating out of tech stocks and we're going to be rotating into value stocks. But considering the tech sector has been carrying the entire stock market on its back for the last two years, I think we should also take a quick look at some tech giants. Tesla, which is considered tech on wheels, is down 1.48%. Apple is down 0.53%. And then, of course, Amazon is down 1.78%. Percent. Like I said, I believe we're rotating out of tech, but I have a strong feeling Amazon will be an exception to that. Now we're going to get into silver and gold in just one second, but before we do, speaking of Amazon, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will be in the description, but if you refer three friends to the app this month, Weeble is going to give you $150 worth of Amazon stock for free with the chance of winning all the way up to three thousand dollars worth of amazon stock all you got to do is click that little invite button send it to three people that you knew bing bang boom it's quite literally that simple don't pass up on an opportunity go get your money go get your free stocks go get your free fractional share of amazon we will link in the description time is running out but now away from the stocks I think what's going on with the spot price of silver and gold today is pretty interesting. We have silver up a decent amount percentage wise, and we have gold down not by a whole lot, but by a noticeable amount. I thought this was interesting because it's not every day that we see silver up and gold down. 
usually they move in the same direction, even if it's at a different pace. Silver might be going up pretty quickly while gold is on a slow incline or vice versa. And if we were to see one go up and one go down, typically it's gold moving up and silver moving down. Today, it's the opposite. Today, silver's up and gold is down, and it's causing the gold to silver ratio gap to close in a little bit. And I always like catching that. And how funny would it be if silver were to eventually become what's viewed as the powerhouse metal? See, that's how I refer to gold. I call gold the powerhouse metal, and I call silver the opportunity metal. That's just my opinion. And it seems like most people agree with me on that. But imagine if the two switched places one day. I don't necessarily believe that's going to happen, but it would be really something if it did. Now, personally, I have no idea what the gold to silver ratio is going to look like next week, next month, next year so on and so forth. But what I would like to see is a very slow, gradual closing in the ratio gap. We're currently in the 70s right now. I would like to see silver and gold take their time and make the ratio move into the 60s, the 50s, maybe even the 40s. And I'd prefer that to happen slowly so that it doesn't cause much of a disruption or garner any unnecessary attention. I like the precious metals always, but I like the precious metals even better when they're off of people's radar. That's just me. As a contrarian, I like doing and participating in what most people aren't even paying attention to. That's just the way I do things. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. With the stock market continuing to fall, it fell two weeks ago, it fell last week, and now it's falling this week. Do you believe this will go on for much longer? Or do you think we're going to start to move up pretty soon? And then, of course, when it comes to silver and gold, and I guess more specifically the gold to silver ratio, what would you like to see happen? Would you like to see silver on an incline while gold on a decline, causing the ratio gap to close in? Would you like it to move in the opposite direction? Would you like the ratio gap to move far apart? You want it to get closer to 100 to 1 rather than somewhere in the 70s. Head on down to the comments and let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Of course, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club where I do monthly giveaways, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free and there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP Club link in the description. And then, of course, last but not least, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer three friends this month, Weeble's going to give you $150 worth of Amazon stock guaranteed for free with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock again for free. They have a little invite button right there in the app. All you got to do is click it, send it to three people that you know. It's quite literally that simple. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to the stock market continuing to fall, it's falling this week, it fell last week, it fell the week before. Do you think that this will continue? Or do you think we're going to start to maybe pop up and move in an upward direction, maybe within the next week or so? And then, of course, when it comes to silver and gold and the gold to silver ratio, what would you like to see happen? Would you like the ratio gap to close in at a very slow pace, kind of like what I'm hoping for? Do you hope it closes in at a very quick pace? It would catch a lot of attention, but the numbers would be moving a lot faster. 
Or would you rather the gold to silver ratio move in opposite directions? Maybe you don't want to see it go into the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, or even lower. Maybe you want to see it go higher. Maybe you want to see it go back to 100 to 1. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.